Still living in the same house. They ain't went nowhere. How you pop? Same. He got he got a he got a girlfriend for like three years now. I'm, yeah. I'm proud of him. <laughs> he ain't he ain't he ain't. You uh, know, one time she texted me and was like, "I'm canceling dinner because I went to your daddy's phone and he was talking about he was horny for somebody." And I was like, "Okay, this is where I gotta draw the line." Oh my god, stepmom, I gotta draw the line here. <laughs> That's crazy, man. But yeah, that is funny. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. And it's crazy because one of my sisters is gay, and I see her doing it with with other women, and I'm like, why? See her doing what? The same shit that women do when we date oh. men. Like it's the same. Oh. Yeah. When do you think y'all? When do you think women like? When do you? When do you feel like your wake up call happened? When cool. Marcus went unconscious. Oh, like just like right then and there. I don't think it was right then and there, but like as I started to deal with the aftermath of that, like then I started thinking like if you had done this, you wouldn't be here. If you had done that, you wouldn't have had to deal with this. If you had that, then mm-hmm. I started thinking about the de- the results of the decisions I had made in the place that it had landed me. Mm-hmm. But I had to like lose everything for that shit to happen. Yeah. But when you when you say when you say. Um, a guy was a provider. Like, what exactly does that mean to you? House, car, food, clothes, all your utilities. Like your paycheck was your was just was all mine. yours. Yeah, that's hard to walk away from. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> if I met a bitch and I got paid and all my money went in my pocket, like, oh, I think yeah. it's sorry, she sucking some dick, but that's cool. <laughs> it's cool. And you got to think like I'm working grown up jobs, careers. Yeah. Like, so we not talking about. Yeah, that's why I stayed. That's that was, still that's still that was in, also my that's, saving grace though. My nigga, at but the that's end. still insane though. That's stupid. That's still insane. Yeah, but I would have never realized it was stupid if that never happened and I never had to address myself. Yeah. It does not make sense. I wouldn't do it again. It wouldn't be worth it. What's the this nigga, remember, remember the fifth of November ass thing. <laughs> but um, yo, this thing is crazy, man. <laughs> but um, damn, what was I about to say? This nigga threw me off. <laughs> Where the wig at, though? <laughs> was there how many bars? One. All right, I'm cool. I got another one, but intermission anyway. Yeah. Um, Paused. Paused. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is crazy. You gotta use the bathroom or anything, or you good? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Why is this so? Why is this one so funny? <laughs> I, it's not. I don't know if it's specifically this one. I think it's. I haven't heard so many of these, and they have a certain script to them. Mm. And I want to answer it. Like, ask me <laughs> I'll tell you why. I got the answer. <laughs> I'll tell you why that shit ain't popping off for you. Oh, uh, that's so funny, man. <laughs> like, because you. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is funny, oh, man. Oh, shit. I had no problem, bro. You, it's you, bro. We it's me. It's probably me, right? It is you, bro. Mm. It's all over. I mean, we could be better though. Not even tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Don't wait. Don't get me. Don't get me wrong." It's your fault, but it's it's his doing. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> See, that's why I told you. I was like, I think you'll be surprised at my responses now. I knew you were gonna get some good responses. You're grilling him right now. Wait, what? You want me to grill him? He was supposed to be getting like. Yeah, bro, you just selfish. You really didn't like. I, we were yeah, I was, I was. Yeah, no, I was. Yeah, I was really thinking that. Yeah, thinking that. Him, no, you wasn't that bad. Like, Damn. Yeah, about. I know. Like, give me some. Give me some. It's right there. It's like give that. me some dirt. Oh shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you try your best to make him a little more ain't shit, and it's not working. Yeah, I mean. Well, just, you should have done me. I need some. <laughs> You didn't tell me was looking for an actress. I wasn't. Well, I wanted it to be true, though. <laughs> That's the thing. No, I am in that. I don't think you were bad. I mean, oh, shit. Yeah, I think it's Compared to these niggas now. 
<laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> niggas right, niggas ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> they not. <laughs> they, for real. They not. Is niggas not shit out here too? She been out here though. And she talking to somebody, so they can't be that bad. I ain't picked oh, up I ain't picked nothing up out here. here. No, he from Kansas City. Oh. Yeah. Oh y'all came out here together? Oh, yeah. that's what's up. Oh shit. That's decent. Yeah. Damn, that nigga got me. Where he think you are right now? Hmm? Where, where you think you at? Where you think you at? I'm here right now. No, I'm still alive. Where you think you at right now? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, I told him I was here. Now I'm telling. I'm not gonna lie. He go? What he? Yeah, yeah, right. What you tell he him? He got to work at like five in. He work at five in the morning. So. What you tell him? What you tell him you was doing? I told him I was like my ex. He do podcasts. He asked me to come and talk. So I'm about to do that. And he was like. You know, there was that moment he was like, Oh, your motherfucking ex coming into town. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I ain't seen, like, what? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> and then I just moved on. But I, a lot of that shit, I don't even let soak in. Like, okay. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> you said, What? Why should get going nowhere? <laughs> 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 bitch, bitch book two tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and we, yeah, we both on the show. Oh, you was eight. Nigga, <laughs> 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 one mic. You better have two bikes, nigga. <laughs> no. Yo. No, I, just, I just told him. I'm not, I'm, yeah. It's going to be a trio. Yo, that's hilarious, man. No, I just. Hmm. He can like it or not like it. What are you going to do? Leave? <laughs> like. Damn. Because uh, the martyr already took the bad time. So he, he ain't going yeah, right. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I ain't nobody's wife, so. We good? Go time. You, um, I remember you saying you don't believe in marriage or you don't think you're going to be married or why you feel yeah. that way. Is that true, first of all? Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm probably not going to get married. Why you think that? Because now I have a different perspective of it, of it after my court experiences with Marcus family. Like, I just want my shit to be my shit. Mm. And I don't ever want to have to pay to fight somebody over shit that's mine. Yeah. So, you can just be in your space. I can be in my space. But I should say that I'm open to having my mind changed at least. After, like, my more recent sessions in therapy, I'm like, I could think about it. Mm. What's, the, um, what's the best part about therapy, you think? That I get to say whatever fuck I want to say and and just like she has to listen. Why you think you couldn't do that before? Just I think when you do that with people that you care about or people that you love, they respond from their love for you or how they feel for you, like which can sometimes create a bias. Mm -hmm. You know, like they might have a hard time seeing a flaw that you had in a situation. I think that depends on who you're talking to, though. Yeah, I mean, no, I have a fr I have a friend, Lexi, who I went to college with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I talk to her, it's gonna be truth, regardless. She gonna be like, if we call her right now, she gonna say the shit that I had to deal with with Marcus was because I continued to make the mad decisions and I continue to stay. Like mm -hmm. she ain't gonna let up on me on that. Yeah. But then there's some people that are gonna be like, there's the Candace, like me and Candace. By no fault of our own, but we ride or die for each other, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Like it don't matter. Like we gonna sink the shit <laughs> for for each other. Yeah, like she is, she's not trying. Yeah, I know. No need. That's a whole, <laughs> no, I need therapy for that too. But you know, it's like, yeah. I just I was like, I need to go to someone that knows nothing. And then like when you first go, like <clears throat> even when I came, it was cool because I was in therapy when I was living with my mom. And then when I got to Denver, I had to get another therapist. So when I started with her, she's like, we got to start from the beginning. So they she went women? all the way back to childhood. Mm -hmm. Both women, both yeah. black? Both well, black. at home it was black. Here, no. The, my So out here, a lot of the black women are like life coaches and things like that. My insurance don't cover that. Oh. So. You feel like that's a different experience because she's not black? No, because I still say the same things about to her about race. Like You be saying nigga? I do. Know? That's dope. And I be telling her about white women. Yeah. Because I, I really don't fuck with white women like that. <laughs> and what she mean? Like, how, what is her response? No, no, like, she's receptive to it. Well, I purposefully looked for someone that was a social worker because mm -hmm. I know, like, how that works because that's what I went to school for. Yeah. But. 
Yeah, she just so she what know ma- realities. What makes what makes a, her good? Like her ability to, to like redirect or give me a different perspective. Because nine times out, of, not nine times out of ten now, but maybe like seven times out of ten now, like my perspective of situation is usually not full. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, take one of one of my white friends, Kim. She was there for me after Marcus got sick. We were cool, whatever, whatever. Naturally, I went through depression and PTSD. So he had his heart attack in his sleep. He was in bed. Mm-hmm. And he had a defibrillator in his chest from prior incident where he had to get this defibrillator. So I woke up to the alarm going off on a defibrillator. So like a lot of those nights, Kim stayed with me. She did a lot of things. But then once I was at my mom's house, I was supposed to meet up with Kim. This is when I was deep in my depression. I was supposed to meet up with Kim, but I went to sleep. And when I woke up, I had like all these crazy ass text messages from her. White lady, white woman. It's like, you're selfish, you're inconsiderate, da 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 da. Like all types of wild shit. And I'm like, no way. Cause one, you a social worker. We went to school together. So that's how we know each other. Two, you already know my situation from top to bottom. Cause you've been here from the beginning. And three, you know, I wouldn't just, that's not like me. I wouldn't just show up, not show up. Mm -hmm. And so it was just this tent, like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to be in that position. I didn't like that space. Hmm. What's, um, why, what made you go to, like, what made you wait so long to go to therapy? Was that even a consideration before what happened happened no no and i still wouldn't have went if it wasn't for my friend lexi mm. she said you need some help yeah you know? she was like you need some help give me your phone <laughs> and then she sent to like blacktherapy.com and then i checked my i didn't know i, I mean I, she said give me your phone and i knew she was going to do something but then i get an email two days later from a black lady from a black therapist saying hey i got your request i got like a little bit of your background information here sometimes i have available so it was like, okay, I gotta, I'm gonna try this. Shit. I'm gonna see how it works. What made you stick with it though? How was that first appointment? First appointment, we talked about sadness, because I think I was so deep in where I was that I haven't even, I hadn't even taken a moment to be sad. I was just like dealing. Mm-hmm. I was trying to control all the things that was coming or respond, not necessarily control. Um, so it was nice to just have a person be like, this is a space where you get to be sad. You cried. All the time. Yeah. I probably I still cry in my sessions. Do a count did a does the therapist ever cry? Nah. Would that be weird? That I, that would weird me out. I've never been to therapy. Because then I was like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> is that your situation? Like But no, nah, but sometimes you know, like somebody else's story could like touch you though. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. I mean just because you go to school for some shit don't mean you and cut off your, this, yeah. your feelings and all, and all that. I haven't, I haven't been to therapy, but well, what, I want to go. I feel like you asking me questions because you have like some reservations about it. Nah, actually, I don't. I just, um, I just haven't really. Honestly, I just haven't really put in the effort to really like to really make it happen. Um, and I think kind of my reasons of wanting to go are kind of childish. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I want to go to see if I can make the therapist laugh. Like in my what? life, like I want, I want to see. Well, they are human. They like I want to see, it's like a joke. I want to see if I can, like, you know. Make... So you not really want to go there to work on yourself? Is that what you see? No, I mean, I think I, um, <laughs> I think I, I definitely could use some fucking tuna. I can, I can need a tuna, but I'm interested to see, like, because you know how everybody thinks that their reality is reality. Um, I kind of feel like I'm. I feel like I'm one of those people who I have my own reality and people like kind of when they hear me say some shit like right then there in the moment they be like this nigga on some crazy shit but then I think I think it makes sense like after but it would be interesting to kind of like to find out if you're really nuts <laughs> like you know well, what I mean? Like, you, you know, I mean, like they 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 do try to identify if you are nuts in the beginning, but yeah, 
if you're not nuts, you, you're not nuts. I mean, but you just never. I just I don't know because like I really do feel like I um. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I really no. I just feel like I have like such a different perspective like than a lot of people. Not 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 better. Not worse. Just different, just, yeah. just like different in a lot of in a lot of ways and like um like the whole marriage thing. Like I feel like. <clears throat> I feel like it may not be in the cards for me either. And well, I've talked to him about this, like, and not necessarily because I don't think like there's a girl out there that I would love or that I can't get along with people or can't like fall for somebody. But I just think like, like just like the way that society is or like the way that, the way that women, some women, seem to <laughs> seem to like think or like the shit that they seem to like value like I'm not going to attract them you know what I'm saying or at least I just don't feel that way and I don't know like I just don't it's crazy because I think the dude that I'm dating now his name is Xavier mm-hmm. but from home but I feel like he's kind of like that too yeah. I don't know. I I don't. I disagree though. There's somebody out there for everybody. Yeah, but how is that bitch gonna look? Oh, uh, you that need matter. therapy because that what? matters. It matters. Well, why why does that matter? What you mean? Why? What you mean? Why? Right? Why does it matter? Like look in the face, or like look like Just, in like what she wear, what she like. What, what What do you mean when you say look? I mean Help collectively, me. like kind of a little bit of all of that. Uh, because no, we like, too old for that. Because you wanna. Yeah, that's why I be in the gym. You though. need to ask that bitch for her that's, about her credit score and her savings account balance. What do I need that for? What do I need that for? Like for like what like realistically though know, like realistically because you don't want a woman that just spend what, money. But what if it's hers? But they got oh, the- but you think she just gonna spend yours? I mean, hers? You think she ain't gonna no. want to spend yours? But what does that have to do with? No, no, no. First of all, <laughs> a girl, a girl is not gonna spend my money. I'm going to but voluntarily. She, but I'm saying she's gonna expect that you her. will. Huh? She's gonna expect that you will spend your money. Okay, she can expect. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. You can expect whatever yeah, you want to expect. This might be why you're not getting your dick sucked. Man, listen. Because you're out here looking for Cinderella. You're out here looking for Cinderella. I'm getting over. Listen, I've not gotten my dick sucked so much. <laughs> that shit don't even. I'm immune to that. Like, I don't even be tripping no more. you looking for Cinderella. But. You really be, need to be looking for the stepsister. Like, <laughs> come on. But you're telling. So you're telling me it don't matter how people look. You really going to sit here and say that? I'm telling you that my ex Marcus was flashy, attractive, tall, star athlete. Tall. <laughs> you know, all these things, muscles, all these things you're supposed to, that a that a lady is supposed to want. Mm-hmm. And the guy that I'm dating now is just some nigga off the block. Yo, why would you <laughs> Like you, you know what I mean? Like not like that. Like he's okay with sweatpants from City Trends and a t shirt from Walmart. Like right. And getting his hair retwisted once every two or three months. Like, that's just, he has different priorities. Like, right. he gonna wear the shoes till the soles wear off. Because right. he wants his value out of them. So, I'm just saying, like, your person might not be, you can make somebody look better. You can help somebody get there. You can make somebody dress Look at Kim better. Kardashian. Look at Chloe. They look got at money, Chloe. though. Well, uh, first you, of all, I don't Okay, but well, you don't think you can, you can afford to spruce a bitch up? First like, them bitches is fake. You can buy her some Fenty. Or some Mac. I mean, like, that's all shit that you can fix. They're, no, like, their bodies are fake, though. But I'm saying, like, you can buy. The bitch might suck your dick every day. You can buy her a body. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What? What's wrong with a purchased body? <laughs> What's wrong with, why can't my bitch have a real body? <laughs> you got to give and you got to <laughs> take. What the like, fuck you mean? You're not going to get everything that you want in this <laughs> life. You cannot be saying, like... It's like the tables have turned. Like I'm the adult now. <laughs> <laughs> you are definitely the adult. I was never the adult. <laughs> Cause that shit just don't make no fucking. Sense. It don't make no fucking. So sense. you want a bomb, a bitch that look bomb, body bomb, 
She First got, of all, them, let's put them on the side over there. Just let's let's <laughs> shelf them for a minute. Yeah, you see this nigga? <laughs> like, yeah. Lip balm, body bomb, suck dick every day. Don't want to spend your money. What else would you like? I didn't say don't want to. I'm just saying. But like, you I'm want gonna... the you want the flexibility of spending your money on her when you want to. You know. Isn't that what? I mean, what other choices are? There? I'm just making sure this is what you want. Okay. I'm like, we're going through a list. Okay. Okay. But yeah. That's I like this. Okay. Like, I like that one's good. So those four things, right? With body bomb. What else you say? Look, she's deep. She looks bomb. She's like her pretty. face is yeah, pretty. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. You want her to only spend her own money? Well, I, to I expect that. to spend her own money. I just because want her, to, I just want her to fucking be an adult, like have a job and like have her own shit, like you know what I'm saying. Like, so, what, are, of any of those things, what are you willing to give? When we go out, like I'll pay. Oh dear. What? Like, like we, we too old to be talking about who paying for the day? Like the twenty dollar, thirty dollar, forty dollar meal. That's some separate shit. I'm trying to see who's gonna pay the rent, the mortgage, the lights, the oh, water. Right. That's the shit. The, the, the groceries in the oh, refrigerator. So we, so we live. You didn't already put us in the same no, house. But I'm just saying, like you should be looking for a bitch with that potential. Like if you like a date, I don't give a fuck. Like you can pick that up. I can pick that up. Who cares? So I want an ugly bitch in my house. Is what you saying? I want a, a big if ugly. Suck, if she suck your dick, yes, that's what you want. Right? So pretty bitches don't suck dick. They do, but you might not find that one. Like you got to look, you got to find the bitch. So, like, <laughs> this went from calm to good. good. <laughs> I'm just saying, but like, cause you, cause like, no, but this is a, I be hearing this shit so much, right? Okay. Basically, and it's like y'all saying bad bitches don't do shit that niggas like without saying that bad bitches don't shoot don't do shit that niggas like. No, bad bitches do shit that niggas like. Right? That exists, right? Okay. But that's right. a small category. Okay. Now But you can you might uni- be Are we talking like, universal? Okay. I can think so I can think of bitches bad and like she might not be bad for everybody, but like what if I think like damn that Cause you know how like some some people have mm-hmm. that look where it's like everybody don't think they fine, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. It could but if you was just binking random bitches and let them suck your dick, you might find your bitch. <laughs> but you too busy trying to pick the one that looked the right way to get your dick sucked. That's Stop. why you ain't got no bitch. If you, don't give, if you don't give a fuck how somebody look, as you might fuck around and get your dick sucked by but a you dude. Can, you need to be able like, to look you, like you can fix the physical. That's what I'm saying. You might have to drop some thousands on that. That's fine. Because, like, what are your priorities? Like, you know, like in a Tyler Perry movie, it's like, what did you like? Tyler what do you not like about him? Like, Tyler you gotta make your list. Tyler Perry is trash. But I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like in the movie. His movie. You gotta are make trash. the list. No, but he did okay. have the part where it's like you gotta make the list about the good and you gotta make the list about the bad and you gotta okay. prioritize what's important to you. So okay. you telling me that you're not gonna date her if she give good top. That's, no, that's a me? that's a pro. If she's ugly. Oh, or no. ugly by your standard. Date like girlfriend? <sighs> no. You can be ugly when you're eighty. Jamal. Your dick gonna be dry. Wait, it's it's already dry. It's so what? Dry. <laughs> so that's like it. Like if you if I if if I don't got no job, right? It's like you waiting for the perfect scenario to happen. Not perfect. Ain't no. You waiting for the perfect woman? Ain't no. Ain't no bitch perfect. That's established. Okay, but not perfect. But you waiting for these? I'm gonna get it. Boxes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna it's gonna be a situation where she's gonna do some shit and blame me for it, regardless. <laughs> so, what? yeah, like she's gonna, she gonna be hungry and like not know where to eat, not know where to go to eat, and then it's gonna be my fault. I'm cool with that. I'm not really cool with it, but I just accept it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I accept that she's gonna wake up on a random Wednesday and just be angry at me for no reason. That's not normal. It's normal. What? It is, yeah, it is. That's because you keep picking it. pretty bitches that don't suck dick. <laughs> Why do y'all like? What is up with this pretty bitch hate? Like, no, I it? don't have hate for pretty bitches, but I'm just saying, like, you're waiting for this perfect scenario, this perfect person. It's not even. Perfect. I'm not saying you can't have it all. I'm but just if, saying you might have to do some. What I'm saying is, you like, you might have like, to finesse it a little. But if a girl is gonna stress me out, regardless, right? Can't she at least? Look nice, but what I'm would no because you want your dick sucked. Which one is your priority? What dick sucked or looking nice? That's why can't why can't a nice looking bitch suck dick? 
No. And hold on, what is Jamal? What number is he on a scale of one to ten? You're saying that he's not hot enough to get that to make that? No, one? but I'm just <laughs> because saying. Because I really feel like no, 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 no. Jamal's good. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like but he's perfect. He should be able to get good. It, 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 he what? can at least unilaterally move over. Okay, good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can I can go there with you. I can take that. Yeah, I can take that. But I'm but you guys like she like she may not be the perfect bitch. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I I don't think anybody's gonna be perfect though. I, I already understand that. Okay. Like I understand it's already it's gonna be. I mean, everybody got their own whatever. You know what I'm saying? But. Pretty face and fucking putting dick in your mouth. That don't seem like a fucking lot to ask. Do it? Is she, it just she me? She not have a job. She can live with me as long as those two things are cool. Thanks, she Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Be careful what y'all asking for. Uh, uh. He, he said that. I ain't say to live with me. I ain't say to live with me. <laughs> But no, I'm just. I, I mean, just, you can have both, but I'm saying like you might be missing out on that person. What happens when? All right, what happens when I have like this really, really great person who sucks dick all the time, but like I can't fuck the missionary because I they just not nothing great to look at in the face. Then what? Now she suck another dick because I can't get hard fucking her. Turn the her. lights off. <laughs> just turn the lights off. How about your kids? Eh? <laughs> no, because other kid? people make cute babies, so you'll be okay. A lot of ugly people out here. How they get here? <laughs> Some good looking people. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great observation. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I'm not saying it cannot happen, but I'm just saying you might be missing that. Per- you might be missing out on a person. But why do why? Why do guys have I- to sacrifice for that when girls don't? I'm sorry, I'm interjecting. I don't, I don't get why. I'm... But I'm sacrificed, so I'm not a good person to ask that to. Like, I think if you're looking, if you want something and that's what you want, then there has to be a level Girl, of sacrifice. Girls not sacrificing a dude giving shitty dick. So we don't, we, we, you'll sacrifice not getting good head, but if we give shitty dick, you're not staying with us? I've never left a nigga for shitty dick. You just said you had okay, a pretty good sex. Okay, that's not a, the perfect nigga don't exist. So we're not all gonna get a good dick all the time. That's a good point. But can't you teach somebody how to give you better dick? Like if you know what you Why like as you, a woman, if I know what I want. Because we want to have sex, but your effort of not giving head is different. Our effort of wanting the fuck is always gonna be there. Your effort, can I teach you effort? No, you just gonna be like, no, nah, I'm good. Mm, that's a good perspective. Man, let's get yeah. this nigga a microphone. No, no, <laughs> see, this, is good. this is good. I don't have these. No, because he's so making I, me think. He's making me think. You making me think. <laughs> no, this is good. This is good. I'm I'm oh hey. I'm just I don't like I just don't want you to miss something. What would I be missing though? I don't know. Like there could be ugly bitches so good dick. But I'm not saying that that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like I'm not saying that that's not true. But what I'm saying is why does that if if there's ugly bitches who suck good dick? There's pretty bitches. Who suck yeah. Dick. Okay. And I'm like, with you. Why is that not a possibility? It is a possibility, but, but I why is it a, why is it, is it why is it a slimmer? Why do you think that it's a slimmer possibility? <laughs> well, okay, let's start here. Define pretty by Jamal standards. I mean, I don't know. You just know it when you see it. I guess. Like you know what I'm saying. And I guess it just, I mean, because, you know, like, beauty is in the eye of the beholder or whatever. Okay, so when I think pretty, I'm thinking, like, thick. What thick got to do with how you look in the face? No, I'm I'm, I'm still going. I'm thinking, like, thick, like, pow, pow, in these right places. I'm thinking, like, some long, flowing hair. Some real hair? Real hair. Some clear skin. You know, like. First of all, bitches ain't wearing that real hair. Second of all, bitches got stress, so they got acne. <laughs> <laughs> bitches got stress. Oh, so shit. Saying, I'm just Yo, saying. bitches' stress is self-induced. It is, because cause we love chasing fuck niggas. Yeah, that ain't my fault. That's our fault. But I got to fucking deal with that shit, though. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yeah, we fucked up for making Why is that? Day. Why is that, though? Why y'all make the... Why y'all make the decent guy pay for the for the fucking immature? Shit? That shit is bonus. Immature. 
The the guy that ain't shit is you know flashy, probably light skin. <laughs> 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 Like yeah. I'm just telling the truth though. That nigga, like, he probably got like Egyptian tattoos on his left yeah, arm. Yeah, you know that mean <laughs> something that they don't even really say they mean. Like, you know how it goes. But I'm just saying, like, it looks good on the surface. I think that's why I keep saying to you, like, don't be focused on looks because that shit don't be getting bitches nowhere. Like we be ending up with fuck niggas when we be doing that. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Why? Because he got Egyptian tattoos on his left arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm thinking more like hieroglyphics or something. You know, yeah, he, got got those. Those. Oh, he got those. He got those. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I set that shit up totally. It was, that was fucking amazing. Oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. No, but, you know, you just get... Oh, Caught up in chasing something that looks like something that you think you want, but then when you find out it's not what you really need. So how do you get <clears throat> how do you get aroused by some someone that you know is not attractive? Because I don't think men are as mentally stimulated as women. <laughs> Just like chemically. I think for me, speaking from my my situations. Like, there's always to this level of, like, care, comfort, nurture, all of that type of shit there. So you just start to genuinely care for this person and want to have a connection there or do these things, like, so then you end up there. I don't see, I don't... I think a lot of times you end up mean. having sex because you know that that's what is the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Because you may, because you're in a relationship. See, I don't know if men are. Which is fucked up. I don't think we put together like that, though. Y'all not. Like, y'all we, just want to get y'all dick wet and get this. Just, just, but I'm whoop. saying it's got to be like a physical attraction, though. Like, right. I ain't never been in a situation where I was like, she ugly, but you know what? You know, I'm going to give her some dick on the account that she's she's treated me well. Like, I ain't never been... A lot of niggas can, though. No? That ain't never... Nah, that's just... That ain't me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not... Makes sense. My dick ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It's not. <laughs> my, shit, my shit gonna look up at me like, nigga, <laughs> shit. You better get this bitch a hug or something. Because I'm not... I'm not, I'm not coming that's out. That's fair. I'm not coming outside. Like, for real. Like, that's I, you. It's just gotta, like... Yeah, I had to. I remember trying to. I remember trying to smash this one girl, who I knew wasn't attractive. Right? She wasn't. I was trying to be, you know, I was trying to be fucking noble or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I, I told myself I was like, yo, I got to fuck this girl before the sun rises, because like once the once the light comes through the fucking blinds, like it's a wrap. Oh like my dick is going <laughs> like that's just not gonna work. That poor woman. And <laughs> okay, so yeah, you should get somebody that you're attracted to. Well, shouldn't everybody though? Like that shit this doesn't make. I'm and I'm not saying she got to be the baddest John like ever, but mm. at least attractive to me. And attractive to me may not mean it. It may not mean a super bad chick. I guess when I maybe a better way to say it is like. Maybe relook at what's attractive to you. I think that's what I did. I relooked at what's attractive to me. Like I need not to be looking for flashy. I need not to be looking for light skin. Like <laughs> that's a little prejudice. <laughs> All light skin niggas can't be there. Can't be terrible. Well, I lost a lot of shit behind one light skin nigga, so I'm you. just saying. I got you. Man. I'm biased. We'll just put it there. I feel you. So, are you you feel like you over are you over that or are you still in the process? I think I just got to the point <clears throat> where I'm allowed to be angry with him because it's really hard to be angry with somebody who's sick, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like you look like a fucked up person. Yeah. If you like angry with a person that don't have no brains no brain function, you know, you look like a, a evil person. Yeah. 
But that was a good thing about therapy. She's like, you know, you get to be mad. Like, you get to definitely have anger. Yeah. So, hmm. now I don't care about it. But when she told me that, I'm like, it's fair game. Hmm. <laughs> are you, so you still in your angry mode? Or are you? Yeah. What do you think it'd take to, like, forgive or... Maybe not even forgive, but just, like, get past. Mm, I think I'm past it, but I think, like, maybe I'm not. Well, this is difficult to say. Not difficult, but, like, it's hard to explain. Like, I'm past it because I've decided to be past it, but I have to go back and visit it to be the best person that I need to be now. Um... I don't even know. Hmm. I had to think about it. What, um... Has sex ever kept you in a situation? No. Never? Mm. Interesting. Because I feel like I know what I like, so I could just be like, no, nigga, you need to move it to the right, you need to move it to the left, like up, down, do this, do that. Like, I could teach somebody that part. That sounds like Mortal Kombat to me. <laughs> Up, down, up, down, left, right. No, not like that, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> inch it up, move to the left, right. What, um, the right to the left. What makes, what makes sex, like, good or bad to you? Orgasms. <laughs> like, if it ain't no orgasms, it is definitely trash. <laughs> like, is that not self explanatory? That's <laughs> oh, fucking hilarious, man. Like, but then you also have somebody you want to make sure that it's with somebody that is like willing to work to get the orgasm. I got you. Like, you don't want to be with somebody that's just like, well, I'm gonna get mine and I hope you get yours before I get mine. Like, that's not how this works. Is that has that ever been your mentality? No. No, never. Mm -mm. I mean, not that I can re recall. I got you. I got you. This is a good conversation, man. <laughs> I don't even got no more. I don't even got no more questions, man. I just. I feel like you were feeling like I was gonna be like, like you were a horrible. Person. I did. I did. I low key, like you said, I was kind of hoping that you was gonna say a few really bad things about me. Not really bad, but you know, like bad enough to make me seem like a, you know, like I'm not on like a pedestal. Not saying I'm on a pedestal. Pedestal, but I mean, I don't think you're perfect. No, Nobody's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, nobody's perfect. We all have places to grow, but you've already, like, maybe losing me in that situation provided some clarity for you. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Let me, let me think back. Um, Or maybe not clarity at that time, but. I really just. But you can honestly tell me, like, what what was you, what was you feeling at that time? I was. But you already told me you thought I cheated, so we talked about. No, that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, you asked if I did. Yeah, so. that was just a straight up question. I didn't. Okay. I honestly didn't have. I just thought it was. I thought it was interesting. I didn't say, man, she fucking cheated, bro. Like I didn't say that. I was just like, hmm. That's that's. So that's a mighty strange coincidence. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of like left it at that. Um, and I just, I, I did wonder like, at what point did it go from, cause I kind of, I kind of felt like uh, dude was like <laughs> the, he was like the light skinned version of me who was there. Is is kind of how I how I felt, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's just kind of how, and and I only say that just because of the description or the explanation that that I remember, like you <laughs> telling me about him, like you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, that nigga sound like me, but that nigga there, and he light, like does like you know what I mean? Like, um, I but as far as like clarity, nice like I just I don't know, like the way that I'd be dealing with. The way I deal with breakups is, is um, I feel like I deal with them like really realistic and really sarcastic. I make a lot of jokes. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, 
I just really try to like I don't know like I try to get my revenge but like really like at the time like really going hard in the gym you know just typical yeah. typical shit like that like really just focusing really more on baseball like really trying to make that shit uh, work um, and really just being single for a long time like because one of the things about me of being a person who is not a cheater or at least who hasn't cheated yet um, <laughs> no because every time so I to do this no because every time I tell a girl like oh you know I never cheated and then they they question to that is how many relationships you've been in and then when I tell them like oh well you know I only really been in like two then they go like, oh well you know you'll cheat sooner or later I'm like what the fuck well, okay mm-hmm. but <clears throat> um, what was I about to say like yeah no I usually just I usually just like go back into being single like for a long time you know what I mean like cause it's usually a situation where if I'm in a relationship I really want that shit to work so when it doesn't work it's like I just be on some fuck relationships type shit like for a little minute Mm -hmm. until really until somebody can prove to me that it's worth another try you know what I'm saying Um, and then if I you know if and when I meet that person then it's like all right, let's fucking hunker down again until until this shit blows up you know what I mean? And until it blow up, I'm going to try to do the best that I can. Even if they don't suck dick, you will work Yeah, today. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I'm just asking, that's weird. Because, because it's probably going to take me at least four, five, six months to even be on some, like, yo, we should be in a relationship. It's going to take me that amount of time. So I feel like within that amount of time, I feel like I should be able to kind of like get a gist of what it will be like if I'm like exclusively with this person. Sometimes that shit ain't, you know, sometimes niggas be putting on shows for you. Sometimes that shit change based on whatever. I don't know. Because it was weird. Because like she kind of like she did like suck dick in the beginning or whatever. Um... And then for whatever reason, it was just like not on the top of her to do list. I don't really know why. Did she ever say? Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna yeah, say, did she ever say why? Nah, I don't really know why. It was more so just like I don't really feel like it, or I'm tired, or you know. You know, today though, I read that women have by nature a low, se- a lower sex drive. I don't believe that. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't. Believe I read that. that today. I'm just telling y'all what, what I read. What? 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 What news? Media was yes, yeah, this yeah, is <laughs> this is a Trump uh <laughs> fake news. It's fake yeah, news. Nigga, it's fake a... news. <laughs> no, I read it from um. So there's this pill that helps women, like Viagra type shit for women. Yeah. And I was on the website reading about that, and one of the st- statistics they said was like the majority of women struggle with like sex drive. How old? It's not uncommon. The they didn't reference age. Oh. It's like you're not alone. I think I think chicks, man. I just think they don't be they don't be trusting they don't be trusting the niggas that they fucking, which don't make no sense to me. Hmm. And like it's a lot of restraints because like I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of women be like, well, you know, I ain't gonna do such and such because I don't really know this nigga, but you fucking them though. Which don't yeah. really make, which is like, that don't yeah, really make right, sense. Yeah, you're right, because I got married friends that got STDs, so you're right. That's crazy. Yeah. You're right. Is that because they cheated or because why? How, how, the how, husband cheated. Right. How we or know how, how we know that? How do we, how is that? Is that confirmed? <laughs> I mean, the husband's burned too. Yeah, but, but that I'm doesn't saying. mean, I guess, yeah, the wife could. I don't, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm going off people's stories. I got you, like, I got you. They say they ain't did nothing and they get burned, but their husband been cheating. So. Do you know any wives that are cheating, or who have, or do they not? They don't really. Y'all don't really get that personal, or you can't say that shit on air. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know no wives. I don't know no wives that have cheated, but I've cheated before. Yeah. yeah. Why? I think when I did it, it was just to get even. 
it was a revenge thing. It was like, all right, I've been taking this shit from you, so I'm just gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. How does that? How does that work? How does that make you feel like when you're in a moment? Like, do you really be in that? It shit? don't really make you feel better. No, I, I'm not inside. Like externally, you feel better because you want to match, but internally. Like, but why? But like, like do you shit. tell them? Well, or, yeah, you gotta tell them. It don't work if they don't find out. So hold on, hold on. So you, so a nigga cheat on you, and then you be like, oh, all right then. And no, then, no, no. It was not you, like that. It was like, then, all right then. It was like, okay, you've been cheating, 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 mm-hmm. cheating, 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 cheating. So now I'm about to cheat, and then and I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. But how and we you, gonna see how you gonna respond to that shit. But how does that scenario go? Like, so after you, in my case. It was like a disagreement, like, okay, bitch, you cheated, and I know you fucking that nigga, and I know you doing this, and I know you doing that, and it's like, okay, well, what are you, you going to do about it? And you said, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do about it, though? When you cheat, oh, let me ask you, oh, God. When you cheated, right, did you suck his dick, too? I did. Oh! <laughs> Several times. Oh! For a long time. Oh! I sucked that nigga's dick multiple times a day when I could. Oh, my God. Was it because you liked him or because he was just trying to get back? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Get back. That it is, was get back. That's terrible, man. If any of Some fucked up shit. If any of y'all want to cheat. <laughs> My crotch is all is so available. I mean, my pelvis has openings. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I'm not in the business anymore, niggas. but yeah. No, I'm just I'm just saying, like to the people, man. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Like I know y'all boyfriends ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, if you want to give me some revenge, you know what I mean, like whatever, like give me, let me know. Damn, did you? Did you I go had a whole with, separate relationship for a while there. How long did this last? Um, you know, give or take, like five or six months. That is a that is a nice amount of time. Was the like was you did you feel like you was going harder for the nigga for the side nigga because you was trying to prove a point or was it like oh I see? I was going hard with the side nigga so I could prove a point to my main nigga. Like, so, oh, you trash. I mean, I know I'm trash. <laughs> I know now that I'm trash, but back oh. then I was getting even, so it didn't seem trash. Oh. But that's why I said, like, all these things that you think, like, I was, like, the perfect girl then. But then, like, after you, it just went, shit, just life got real. Like, <laughs> shit started to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. So, how do you go about telling your your main guy this? Just in an okay. argument, or you so just... no. So this this so with my with my son nigga, this opportunity came up to travel of all places to Denver. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm about to go out of town. He like, well, where you going? I'm like, to Denver. He like, well, who you going with? I'm like, what? Well, there ain't none of your. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't none of your business where I'm going. You, like, said, you said that? Yeah, I'm like, that's none of your business where I'm going. I'm going. No, so I'm going, and then who I'm going with, you will find out soon enough. You said that? Yes. Jesus Christ. It was a really not good situation. And but You cheated first? No, he did. She said, he said, he yeah, she yeah. said he cheated this like seven or eight revenge. times or something yeah. like that. This was my revenge. So I booked What if over? he didn't cheat and he just brought you back? From the- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. No. Um, no, he definitely no, he definitely cheated. But can we confirm this? Wait, did you like ever? Yeah, you, like, I had the messages. On, did you I had walk in on some shit? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Your friends told you some shit too? No, no. Like the bitches were always No, the bitches would come to me and they would tell me stuff <laughs> and it would be like, Okay, well such and such, but you can tell by a person's reaction. Yeah, that's that's concrete. No, but, but like you can tell, like when you confront, like with so with Marcus, never mad, never angry, mm-hmm. no. nothing could, never, nothing could See? ever say him off. <laughs> is that not me or is that but, not fucking me? Then I'm like, yo, this bitch is in my inbox. Here's these messages. Like, what's going on with you and her? Mm. But I don't, you know what I mean? Then it's, then he got all this anger, and I'm like, okay, well you guilty. Mm. That to me says something because I never seen you that excited about nothing. Has he ever been? 
accused of cheating before? Maybe that was. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I mean, but like, <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, but like, that's fine. bitches are lying on you like seven or eight times though. Like, you ain't cheating. Like, these women just keep coming up. Some girls are thirsty. Nah, they ain't that thirsty. I'm not gonna not in Kansas. Yeah, they're thirsty. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna need you to tell me the yeah. diameter of each one of my. I'm testicles. telling you, he was cheating. Like, you just know, like, you just know, like you know, like phones face down. You can't call a nigga. The nigga not answering for hours. Like he ain't coming home at night. Like this. Mm. Like I'm not confused. Like he was clearly cheating. Like I'm a woman. Those are great examples. I agree with you. But what proof did you? Those are all those are all things around the situation that made it look sketchy, but did you have some proof? You say you saw no, some like screenshots or something like that. Well, no, just like bitches that messaging time. me, like. Fuck. No. I need you to convict this guy. You can't convict. But him. I, I already have. Like, I feel like if we. Yeah, I just don't think these bitches was like. I don't think, like for me, like it just doesn't keep happening that way. Like it just mm. don't keep coming up. Like, maybe once or twice, but you start talking about seven, eight women, like, that's bogus. You can't, you hide in your phone, you not coming home at night. You have, are, like, you a, are you a go, are you a phone? No, I'm not through? a go phone through. Mm-hmm. So it's like, we sit next to each other, I'm on my phone, it's down here, I'm scrolling, I'm doing what I'm doing. You I'm like cheating, this. I'm cheating too. No, that was <laughs> at the end, but like, you know, you up here, you up here, you up here, you know what I mean? Like, and then it's like, I'm trying to. Lay on your shoulder. And you gotta like <laughs> shove the phone down. Then, like after after. You should probably check your phone by the way. After his There's sickness, I don't got no stuff on there. I'm just saying, you been going for a while. You with your ex. You might, you might go to sleep. I know, right? For real. You ain't gonna be in the house tonight. You can stay. Yeah, home. my location is on. My location can be shared. Yeah, I got location on, nigga. That nigga can see. He can see through the wall. Exactly, nigga. Shit, hey, hey. What y'all doing? I'm not cheating right now. No, like I don't move like a cheater. Like if I was moving like a cheater, I wouldn't be saying where I'm going. How a cheater move? They don't tell you where they going. That it's mysterious. That they hiding sh- stuff. They not taking you places. Good they not inviting you places. Like, and they lie. This is true. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like there's not a bone in my body that don't think he was not cheating. Like, it just doesn't come up that many times. Like, I'm not. I got you. He never um, admitted to it? Mm-mm. No. It was always like a, this bitch, you know, but it's like convenient. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Got you. Yeah. He didn't mm-hmm. leave me when I cheated. How did that happen? Like, not how did it happen, but how did that how did that go? I tell you, I was like, I'm going out of town. Who you going to? None of your motherfucking business. Or I'm going, I'm going out of town. And he was just like, all right, bet. No. But you can't stop me from getting on the plane. Like, what can you do? Bomb threat? San Diego. Okay, sure. Well, San Diego. I feel like I need to ask about San Diego. Yeah, you, you got some money. You might want to turn the cameras off. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm just like. I'm not the one I'm going to show my shit. Yeah. He might want to turn the cameras off for that one. <laughs> he didn't but agree no, to I this. But no, I just said that. I mean, he, he, act, he acted like I acted when I was, you know, not. No, I shouldn't say. He acted like. So he called the hotel to see if. Well, he called the hotel to see if the nigga that I. Because I said, I'm like, I'm going with this nigga. Like, first name, last name. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm going to be doing. Like You told him you was going to be fucking? No, I didn't say fucking, but I'm going out of town with this nigga, which is implied. I didn't say I'm going to be fucking, but that's implied, right? Yeah, I mean, damn. That's was a- he part of the friends? Was he always a friend? How did you meet him? Like, was he, was he like someone you knew in the past? He just reached out again? You talking about the one that she went to go fly to? Yeah. Oh, that was somebody I knew in my past that I just reached out to, and oh he was God. he was ready for the ride. He was like, "Cool, let's do it." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy because so Marcus called the hotel. The hotel he asked the hotel like, "Does this nigga have a room?" Transferred him to the nigga's room, and then the nigga answered the phone, and he was just like, "Is this such and such?" And dude was like, "Yeah, that's me." And then he hung up. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, and then I just, I look, like, after this, these days I was gone, I flew home and went back and lived in the same house with the same, like, that I've been living in, untouched, unscathed. Like, he's not going to let me get away with that if he hasn't been doing something else himself. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm trying, like, there's not a doubt in my Y'all ain't had no, like, y'all ain't had no conversation about it, no. Like, <clears> when after, I got home, no. Mm-mm. Was y'all, like, was y'all using condoms? Or was y'all? Mm-mm. No, wait, me and, and Marcus? Anybody, nigga, like... Well, with the nigga I was cheating with, yeah, I was using okay. condoms, but, like, I mean, not when I was sucking dick, yeah. but, you know. <laughs> oh, man, that is crazy, man. Yeah, I know. Damn, that's crazy, man. Hands All right. I'm, I'm without words. That is... That's interesting. We got anything else? You got any? You got any? You, I hear you. That that triggers me. Um, what part? The, the Tiffany and San Diego shit. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's cool. I wasn't cheating. I didn't turn my phone over. I had literally just brought her back from Denver for her birthday, and she broke up with me on Christmas and went back to the nigga just like that. And he was in her phone the whole time. Okay, so wait, the dude that I cheated with was never in the pic, like. Yeah, it, you, you knew him previously, though. Yeah, we went to school together. So, so I reached out to him. Exactly what that nigga was. We went to school together. But it wasn't like we was communicating on the low that whole time. Like, it was definitely like, yo, bam. It was me taking advantage of opportunity. Like, I know you like. Yeah, but he probably always played the friend role to agree. Had y'all ever, had y'all ever, like, smashed before mm-hmm. that? So he had never smashed. Mm-mm. Living mm. on the whole opposite ends of the state and everything. Like mm. it wasn't like I mean, of not the state, but of the country. You didn't want to then, or because he got both uninterested. Last question, because I'm sure you. I think that for him, it was very much a, like the type of guy that he like right now. The type of guy that he is now, like he just fucking a lot of bitches. Like for him, it was just mm. a thing. It was like, yeah, I'm just gonna mark this off. And because I didn't get the names correct, Marcus was the boyfriend? Yeah. He's light-skinned? Yep. What's the other boy? <laughs> the other guy's name? Anonymous, but he's light-skinned. No, that's what I meant. I meant, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's light-skinned, too. Oh, I never had a shot then. You like them light-skinned boys. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not true. She's not giving up light-skinned. <laughs> that's right, nigga. She's giving up light-skinned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I dated the, other than light skin. Yeah, I know when this dick was trash, he left him 15 years ago. <laughs> no, I did not. I did not leave Jamal because his dick was trash. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yo, that's funny. I would go with that story. No, <laughs> that's, I that's funny. I don't care. Like, that's hilarious. Oh, shit. All the things I remember, I really don't. I mean, like, I don't have negative memories of the dick so then I can't really say that your dick was trash so I don't I mean like that's just what it is I don't have negative memories all the trash dick I've had in my life I remember oh all right I can live with that I can live with that I can live with that oh shit from the from the trash dick that you have how many chances do you how many chances do you give trash dick zero I well, mean, yeah, one, give it at least one. One, yeah. Oh, uh, no second chances. No second chances. Oh damn, you're I'm gonna come back for trash dick. So how can we not have the same standards with dicks ever? Or can Jamal not? No, one. no, he can't. <laughs> <That's laughs> like, if the dick suck it, but this is what I'm. This is what I. This is what I was trying to say. Like, to me, dick sucking is a priority for Jamal. So like, look for a bitch that's good at dick sucking. It might not be the pretty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look for you a bitch that's good at dick sucking. That's what I was trying to make. That was the point I was trying to make. Like, Yo, man, y'all look She crazy. might be ugly. She might be pretty. You don't know. You might have to flip the coin on that. But that's the. I mean, we'll keep her for, around for dick sucks. Yeah, when but I, mean, I get it. Like now, after after all of that, like I get it. Like if it don't get your dick hard, then it ain't gonna work. Like. Right. It ain't. And then she gonna end up flying. She gonna be Denver. mad. Yeah. Then yeah. she then she gonna have to get some revenge. Dicks. She gonna be in Denver. I know. You know what I'm <laughs> or or Dago, either one. 
They know. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. When I really don't, I, I, my memory of you is not that you were like this bad guy. Well, that's good. But. I know I wasn't a bad guy. I just know, you know, I, I remember just, uh, <laughs> I just remember being an overthinker about everything. I still am. I don't know. I never grew out of that part. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah. But this is this was this was interesting, man. This was fun. I'm glad you uh, agreed to fucking sit down. Uh, any any last any last words? Cause we like two hours and I think some shit like that. Well, mm-hmm. any last words from you, nigga? So, I'm glad to have you. Happy to have you. Uh, <laughs> you trash, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was trash. My new, my new self is not trash. Nah, I'm fucking I'm fuck with you, nah. man. I'm fucking with nah, you. Nah, you, that's real, though. That's why, we, that's why I be telling people, I'm telling my sisters that. I'm telling this guy I'm seeing now, like, we just got to get your mind right. You got to start thinking about the decisions you make and the impact it makes on other people. Like, that's just not cool to me no more. Like, just be honest. Just do right by people. Don't be going around fucking people up. Like, do you think girls really like us? I don't. I don't think they do. But I think it's just it's like society, it's culture. Like a lot of women are chasing this. They shooting they shot. Right now, <laughs> at the Super Bowl. At the Super Bowl <laughs> That's what right? I'm saying. <laughs>